my cosmic explorers. I'm May Thobol, your guide to the mysteries of the universe. Welcome back to my blog, where science meets attitude and wonder knows no bounds. Today, we're diving into the changing speed of time. August 5th, 2025 is said to become the shortest day in modern history. Join us for a profound exploration of this extraordinary phenomenon. Why is Earth suddenly spinning faster and what does it mean for our lives? To help us break it all down, I've brought along the brilliant Brian. So grab your coffee, fasten your seat belts, and get ready for some serious celestial wisdom. Brian, the floor is yours. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. There is a quiet revolution unfolding beneath our feet, not in the realm of politics, nor in the chaos of human affairs, but in the very rhythm of the Earth itself. A shift so subtle that most will never notice it directly, yet so profound that it may already be rewriting the course of our lives. The days are shortening, not by hours or minutes, but by fractions of a second, imperceptible to the clock, yet resonant in the soul. The planet is spinning faster. This is not metaphor. It is physics. In July 2024, scientists recorded the shortest day in modern history, a loss of nearly 1.7 milliseconds. This year, the trend has returned, with days on the 22nd of July and the 5th of August expected to fall short by over 1.5 milliseconds. These are not anomalies, they are signals. Whispers from the deep interior of the Earth, echoes of tectonic forces realigning, of lunar tides pulling at the crust, of a planet adjusting its breath in response to forces both celestial and terrestrial. And now, with the colossal 8.8 magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Kamchatka on the 30th of July 2025, the strongest in over seven decades, the Earth has not only trembled but changed. Its rotation has shifted, its energy field has been disrupted, and time as we have known it may never be the same. For centuries, we have measured our lives against the steady pulse of 24-hour days. Our bodies, our minds, our civilizations, all built upon this unshakable rhythm. But what happens when that rhythm begins to falter? When the earth, in its silent, ancient wisdom, starts to move with a new urgency? The human body does not register a millisecond's difference, yet something inside us does. We feel it in the growing restlessness of modern life, in the sense that time is slipping through our fingers, that everything is speeding up. Conversations, decisions, emotions, even grief. We blame technology, stress, the noise of the world, but perhaps the truth lies deeper. We are living on a planet that is literally turning faster beneath us. And now, with the Kamchatka quake, a seismic titan born from the violent subduction of tectonic plates beneath the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Earth has been jolted into a new energetic state. Such a massive release of energy does more than crack the crust. It redistributes mass, alters angular momentum, and can, according to geophysical models, increase the planet's rotational speed. Like a spinning ice skater pulling in their arms, the Earth, after a great earthquake, can briefly spin faster. The 8.8 .8 event, one of the most powerful ever recorded, may have done exactly that. The aftershocks continue not just in the ground, but in the balance of the globe itself. What does this mean for us? It means that the invisible scaffolding of time, the axis upon which our lives turn, is no longer as stable as we once believed. It means that the subtle fields that govern not only satellites and GPS, but perhaps even human consciousness are being recalibrated. Some scientists warn of cascading effects, disruptions in global communication, shifts in climate patterns, intensification of storms. The centrifugal force increases, however slightly, pulling water towards the equator, altering ocean currents, stressing the atmosphere. Hurricane systems could gain rotational energy. Rainfall patterns may shift. The very air we breathe could carry a different charge. But beyond the physical, there is something more elusive, something spiritual, even cosmic. 
Across cultures and ages, the Earth has been seen not merely as a rock in space, but as a living entity, a sentient being whose rhythms are intertwined with those of its inhabitants. When the Earth trembles, so do we, not just in fear, but in essence. People report sudden changes in mood, sleep disturbances, heightened intuition, or a strange sense of urgency, as if life is suddenly demanding more attention, more presence. These are not coincidences, they may be resonances the human spirit vibrating in tune with a planet in motion. The planet is reminding us, it is alive, it is dynamic, it is changing, and so must we. If the Earth spins faster than time as we experience it compresses, moments feel more intense. Decisions must be made more swiftly, there is less room for hesitation, less space for denial. The old ways of Tuo Yan, of waiting for the perfect moment, may no longer serve us. The energy of the world is accelerating and those who align with it, who learn to move with the new rhythm, may find themselves carried forward with unexpected grace. Those who resist may feel only fatigue, confusion and a growing sense of dislocation. We stand at the edge of a new era, not defined by war or technology, but by tempo. The speed of the earth is no longer a constant, it is a variable, and with it our destinies are being recalculated. Will we adapt? Will we listen to the subtle signals? The shortened days, the restless nights, the quakes beneath our feet, and recognize them as invitations to evolve? Or will we continue to live as if nothing has changed, while the very ground of existence shifts beneath us? The Earth is turning faster, time is no longer what it was, and the question is no longer what will happen, but who will we become in this new rhythm of the world? And there you have it, my cosmic companions. Remember, every challenge is just a stepping stone to greatness. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe so we can keep exploring together, and drop a comment to share your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious, stay bold, and keep chasing your dreams.